Erica and I'm going to talk a little about winter training. One of the biggest questions I get from cyclists is how much time I spend indoors on the trainer and the answer is as little as possible and almost none. Thank you Coach Dean from CTS. Um, what I've really found, I do a lot of my winter training in these beautiful mountains. These are the Boulder Mountains of Idaho, the Smokies over there and it's a winter playground and so I take advantage of it when I live here. I do most of my training either backcountry skiing, so that's hiking up all these hills and skiing down or cross-country skiing which is some of the best fitness that you can do. Um, I really like the cross-country skiing because it's more upright. I'm using my arms. I'm getting out of this hunched over bike position and really using my core um, and aerobically it's one of the best things you can do. But I also really love riding my bike and of course fat biking crosses over directly to my regular cycling when it's not in the snow. So that's why I've outfitted my fat bike with a power meter because I want this to count and really what's cool about fat biking is it's almost like doing resistance training. The speeds are really slow but there's a lot of friction on the snow and so it is like doing kind of like doing hill intervals or power intervals all the time and you have to let go of the fact that you're moving five miles an hour and train for time instead of distance and train for power so it really does cross over well for me something uh, specific with the equipment the thing about fat biking if you're thinking of trying it tire pressure is everything you run from three pounds psi to 10 psi would be really hard for a tire and i think most people make that mistake they don't they're like, why do I sink into the snow? And a lot of it has to do with tire pressure. So I'm running these big fatties for Maxxis. Um, one by for the winter is really important. So there's not as much shifting. There's not as much, um, there's not chain drop. And I also use in here, you can't see it, but grip shift for snow. Because if I'm wearing gloves, it's much easier to shift. Um, it's just much easier to shift that way. And also pogies to keep my hand warm from Revelate. I got my goo nutrition people think you have to overdress or you know wear a ton of clothes but what I find you can tell you're dressed basically like you would for just cool weather cycling because obviously you get really hot so that's my training for today um, we've come up this big hill I'll probably turn around and go down <laughs> and uh, my best training buddies are here with me too come on let's go let's go you ready oh, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha